Muhammad and Abdul Rasul. And the Prophet from his Sunnah used to give a, a quick short khutbah of uh, probably five hours before her marriage. Just kidding. <laughs> five minutes inshallah. So we're not going to delay you for that show. He's already so, anxious. Now? He's already anxious. Okay, I see. Uh, marriage is a door for a Jannah for males and females. For females, the Prophet once was visited by a sister and she had a few questions and she asked the Prophet the questions and then the Prophet wanted to give her an advice and he said, uh, Do you have, are you married? Do you have a husband? She said, yes. He said, how are you to him? And she said, I do my best uh, being good to him. Qala, you have to know for fact that your husband is your door for Jannah. He is your way for Jannah or hellfire. This is, it depends on how you deal with him. If you are good to your husband, that's going to take you to Jannah, to heaven. If you are not, it's going to be the other way around. So marriage is a way for a Jannah. Uh, for men, the Prophet said, enough, enough as a sin for the person is to waste those who are under him, under his care. If a husband is not taking care of his wife, not taking care of his children, that's the reason said this is going to be enough as a sin. If he wastes them, if he does not provide for them, if he does not take care of them, uh, they will be. Uh, that, that's going to be a great uh, sin. For women, also, the Prophet said, "If the salat al mar'atu khamsaha, if the wife prays her five, the five prayers, fasts her month, the month of Ramadan, wa uh, zawjaha." And, and she obeys her husband and the day of judgment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وحصنت فرجها one more is that she takes care of his, her chastity which is not to be involved in any illegal relationship uh, as well as obeying her husband she will be told in the day of judgment ادخل الجنة من أي أبوابها شئتي you get to al-jannah from whichever door that you want obviously as I'm speaking marriage is not just a relationship between a male and female as it is known to many non-Muslims it is a lifelong, not actually a lifelong relationship. This, this, this goes beyond this life. Marriage, the first few ahadith we will talk about is it's talking about after this life. What's going to happen to a good husband, a good husband or good wife because of marriage. So marriage in, uh, in Islam is a relationship that's even beyond this life. Uh, for the wife also, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said as far as the right of the husband, he said, uh, he said, by the one in whose, in whose hand my soul is, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our Prophet, is swearing by Allah. He said, the woman will not, he is swearing by Allah. He said, Wallahi, by, by the one in whose uh, uh, hand my soul is, the woman will not be able or capable of doing the right of Allah, fulfilling the right of Allah until she fulfills the right of the the husband. This is something to think of as well. And also he said in the it is a responsibility for both males and females. All of you, all the nation, young, old, everybody, Ra'in is a guardian and every guardian will be questioned and will be responsible, will be held responsible for uh, his responsibility and for his circle. He starts from all the way from the leader of the the state uh, until he mentioned the husband is responsible for his family and the wife is also responsible for in the house of her husband and she is responsible for everybody under her within this circle uh, and because the marriage يعني, is so important of a relationship and Nabi Sallallahu will give us so many rules that he will go to the deep details of what could be going on between the husband and wife when they talk uh, what if they want to exaggerate a little bit? He said in the name La A'uddu Kadiban, and he would mention a few <laughs> categories of people that whatever they say, if they say things in these situations, they will not be wrong, they are not right. But if they say uh, things in these situations, they will not be considered as lies. One of the situations he, he said, uh, which means, a husband is telling his wife something and a wife is telling her husband something. What is it? A husband is telling his wife that probably she is the, you know, uh, the, 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 the most beautiful uh, woman in the world. And, and in his heart, he doesn't really believe 100% that she is. But that's, that's not a lie. The husband said, this is right, you do it. It's not going to count as a lie. Same for the, for the wife. She said, you know, you are, mashallah, the best man ever, that Allah ever exists after prophets and everything. 
and, and that's for fact, yeah, I mean, it's not the case, but even if you say, she says that, the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that doesn't count as a lie, because Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala would, would waive some of the strict rules, lying is so much haram in Islam, but in, in the very, amongst the very few cases that you can lie, it's not a lie, is a husband and wife talking to each other, the love kind of talk, that will nurture the relationship between them. Actually, we're supposed to start with the Quran. Allah has created to you from your own selves mates. He created from Adam and Eve. So they both find repose and second and good and peace and love with each other. He made marriage as one of the miracles. Ayat, ayat is usually used for an ayat in the Quran, the words of Allah, ayat. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also called ayah is the marriage. What, what's happening right now is an ayah, is a miracle, one of the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He created, uh, uh, that He made marriage and He cast between two people love and affection. And the Prophet said, it is a sunnah of the Nabi, He said, Nikah sunnati faman raghiba an sunnati faqad raghiba anni, aw falaysa minni. So He said, this is my way, this is my sunnah. If you love my way, my sunnah, you will do it. If you don't love it, you just uh, wouldn't take it, and that means you wouldn't. Uh, love me. So, uh, amongst so many other hadith, the Prophet ﷺ is uh, talking about the nikah and how good and how beautiful uh, it is, and how even part of our religion and how it is a way to take us to Al Jannah and everything in in the cause in the way of getting the husband and wife together as as worshippers of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is is good and is even if you have to break some rules sometimes exaggerating that's fine. Uh, that tells us how important is the marriage in Islam. So very simply, how do we do marriage in Islam? A lot of people, a lot of Muslims are confused about it. In Islam, it's probably, I assume, is the simplest way. In Islam, it is Zawaj Arkan, some pillars. There are some pillars for marriage. One of the pillars of marriage, al aqidan or Zawjan, the husband and the wife. We have a husband here, Brother Abdul Latif, the wife is right there, Sister Vanessa. And then we have uh, the asira or the formula to be done al ijab wal qabul offer and acceptance uh, in marriage and al wali according to majority of the scholars wali is a, we have a system it should should be the father this is a guardian for the girl and he should we have a system and an order for it father if father is not there then uh, the brother if the brother is not there it goes on to the uncle and to the male uh, specific males uh, uh, who are relatives to the the girl to represent her in marriage and obviously al qubur or the consent the girl should uh, or, uh, the wife should give the, uh, the, the the consent for the marriage how does it work it is simply we are going to do it right now she appoints me as a, as the guardian she doesn't have any muslim uh, uh, relative and in this case uh, a non muslim cannot be a guardian over a muslim la wilayata muslim this is the hadith so she chooses anybody but out of respect we call i call uh, some one of his fa her family members and we let him know and we even get permission from him just to you know uh, let them know that we respect still we respect the, the, the family system and everything so I'm gonna be the guardian and I made sure that she gives consent of this marriage I am gonna offer him and he will I'm gonna give him the the, the sila or the formula and he will say I accept I'll make it easy for you so I, I I'm saying I give you sister Vanessa in marriage according to the book of Allah and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You say, I accept. I accept. Her marriage. Her marriage. Marriage of? Marriage of Vanessa. To, my, to myself. To myself. According to the book of Allah. According to the book of Allah. And the sunnah of Rasulullah. And the sunnah of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's it. Very simple. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this marriage. Say, Barakallahu lakuma. Barakallahu Wa baraka alaykuma. Wa jama'a baynakuma. May Allah bless you. May Allah shower His blessings on you. And may Allah get you together in goodness, inshallah. Amen. It's not one of the first parts. You should just have the action.